I'm Devin. And I'm Tim. And we're back here today, going to be talking about a little bit about some hydraulics that we got on the table. So Tim, lead us into here today. What do we have in front of us? Uh, so here we got a um, hydraulic pump. It would be pressure compensated uh, and load sensing. Uh, here we have a pressure relief valve. We have a pressure control valve. It has a uh, pressure, it's pressure control with feedback to a electrical signal for feedback for a system. And here we have just a priority flow control. Uh, could control the speed of motors uh, in a system like for a conveyor belt. Um, various different, this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to pressure control valves. All right, so Tim, we're gonna start out here with the pump, and if this comes in, I bring it off my machine. What is the first thing that, if I didn't tell you anything about it, what's the first thing that you're going to look for? Uh, so the first thing we would do is tear it apart, pull the rotating group out of it, uh, the piston set, and we would look for any type of failure that's due to contamination, uh, overheating. Um, then we get to the pressure control valve, it's called the compensator. Uh, we would rip that apart and make sure that it has a little tiny spool inside that has a real tight clearance and it controls the pressure and regulates the stroke of the pump for output. So it's one of the common causes. Um, if a system is getting hot, it could be because the pump was contaminated and it's got high case leakage. Um, it could have pressure control problems because there's something in the compensator that contamination could have gotten to, uh, whether it be dirt in a system, uh, we covered in the past the um, contamination in a system. Uh, we covered dirt, which was one of what's what we mostly covered. But if a pump had a failure, or a cylinder had a feral, failure, or there was a component in the system that had a failure, then you've got metal debris floating around in the system, which is so, absolutely terrible. I got a question for you. Is this something that would be a mechanic could be tinkering with and then hinder the life expectancy of this? Is this something to slap on there and it's ready to go? So, no. Um, this compensator has, this one has two separate adjustments. This would have a load sensing standby adjustment and a high pressure compensator adjustment. And if a system is starting to get, um, it could have problems with the pressure, they, the mechanic could start turning other valves in the system. This would be a pressure relief valve. Um, let's say if he turns this down too far, what will happen is the oil will start flowing over the relief valve rather than the pump going off stroke by the compensator. So then what will happen is it'll the oil would all be going over the relief valve at high pressure and it will cook the system. Okay, so it'll cause some little heating issues. Yeah, that would be, that would be a very good reason for overheating. Okay. So Tim, what, what do we even have sitting here? What, this is the way it gets plugged into something. Yeah, so this would get controlled by a, most likely a PLC and a driver card. Uh, this is a pressure control valve for a open loop uh, Rexroth pump that would be controlled for various different outputs for the systems. Uh, it would get commands from a driver card and this here sensor on the, this senses the position of the spool inside, so the PLC knows the position of this valve so it can precisely control pressure. Wow. Yes. Rectum. That little thing does a lot of stuff. Yes. Yeah. Very precise control. Okay. So I've never even seen this in the shop, honestly. So I have no idea what this thing is. So what does this thing do? Where's it go? So this is a priority flow control valve. It would be used on an open loop system where they want to control like the speed of a motor on a conveyor. Um, this particular one has a flow adjustment. It has a priority flow adjustment. So if you want a motor to run a certain speed, you would set that and then you would have, say, you put 10 gallons a minute into it. You can control, say, three gallons a minute out of it on the priority flow. So this is a manual adjustment, this, as, as in this is electronic. Adjust. Correct, yes. This will get hooked to a PLC. Um, so this would have to physically go and change. Yeah, this is easy for someone to tinker with. Uh, they will would move the lever trying to get the thing to go faster or slower. Um, if the, if you turn it up too far, the motor will overspeed. We talked about overspeeding a motor in a system. 
So. Yeah, over speeding causes motor motor failure prematurely. Um, it will cause, cause extra heat in the system. The this one has a pressure relief valve, which needs to be adjusted correctly, or it could be going oil could be going over that at a lower pressure and cause more overheating. Okay. So this is just for metering your gallons per minute. Yes, metering gallons per minute as a priority flow control. That means it will control controlled flow. If you set it at three gallons a minute, it will stay at three gallons a minute regardless of your pressure okay. on your system. And it has a priority control, it has an excess flow, and then it has a just a drain. Good deal. Hi. Yeah. I'm Devin. I'm Tim. And thanks for joining us today on Hydraulic Talk. And we'll get back with you here in the next couple weeks and get something else out for you guys to watch. See you next time.